Become the conductor of your own orchestra. Command your forces to take over other solar systems as an intergalactic god. Relax and catch some fish with friends. Actually become good at poker. Glide into the best VR battle royale out there. Explore a mind-bending, endless, procedurally generated base using your own two feet. You can do all of this right now for free on the MetaQuest 3, Quest Pro, and Quest 2. Welcome to Gameless Plus. My name is Josh, and these are the 10 best free MetaQuest 3 games. Stay tuned to the end to check out a couple of awesome mixed reality experiences that are totally free and worth your time as well. And just to let you know, some of these games are not fully completed versions that are found in the App Lab within the Meta Store. They don't always show up immediately, so I've included links to all of them in the description below. Also, keep in mind some of these games may not stay free forever, so play them while you can. First up, at number 10, Ultimex. Ultimax is a futuristic mech sport battler. The game throws the player into an intense, head-to-head, soccer-like battle. With a blend of strategy and skill, you use your rocket punches to direct the giant ball to the opposing team's goal area. You will zoom, block, punch, and score your way to victory. You can choose between three distinct classes of mechs with their own styles of play, and team up with another player against another team of two, or do just one-on-one -on -one battles. I really wasn't sure what this game was about when I first turned it on, and it seemed like it was going to be a little overwhelming with how it looks, but the controls are actually pretty easy to pick up and understand, and once you get the hang of it, that's when the fun really starts. You're able to shoot your rocket punch and then control it in the air to make sure you hit the giant ball that needs to go to the other side. You teleport from space to space, so you don't really run the risk of getting nauseous like you can with some of the other action sports games that are out there in VR. The fact that this game is so fully featured and is 100% free easily makes it an awesome choice for anyone who wants some good sports action in the VR world. Next at number 9, T for God. T for God is a unique VR title known for its incredibly unconventional level design. It generates infinite spaces within the physical play area, offering an immersive, mind-bending experience. Basically, wherever your play area is on foot, like your, your boundary area, is what is used to generate an endless path that you can go through. It's really amazing. You actually walk around within the space without teleporting or sliding. You just continually go through little portals that lead to other endless rooms. You use laser guns and zappers to shoot the many robots that come after you, and you can also pick up shields, plant bombs, and peek around corners to see what's coming up. This is truly one of the most unique and interesting VR experiences I've ever had. I was honestly blown away by this game. It changes every single time you play Play, and it also changes based on the size of your play area. And it also doesn't have to be a large play area, it can be very small, and it still feels like you're in a very large space as you go room to room. The fact is that this is the demo version of the game that I played, and it is completely free. But if you want to have a deeper experience with more variety, you can pay for the full version. There's a lot more modes and everything. But I included this on the list because you really don't have to pay for the full version when playing for free still has infinite possibilities. It is procedurally generated, and it is literally different every time. The graphics aren't amazing in any way, but this game really isn't about that. You will still be amazed by this truly innovative concept. I can't wait to see this concept used in other games in the future with greater graphical quality and other gameplay mechanics mixed into it. Next up, at number 8, Maestro the Masterclass. Maestro the Masterclass is a rhythm-based VR game that transforms the player into a conductor for a full symphony orchestra. This awesome and unique free game uses excellent hand tracking. You put your quest controllers down, and instead you pick up a chopstick or a straw or something that feels like a baton that you would use as a conductor. I used a straw. With the intuitive controls, you wield your virtual baton to match the rhythm of the music. This was another one of those experiences for me that came as quite a surprise. I had no idea this was out there. It's really incredibly fun to quickly pick up the baton and feel like you really are conducting this orchestra using nothing but hand gestures. This game starts you out with the very basic controls and slowly trains you up in the master class, culminating with an epic symphonic concert in a packed opera house. This game made me feel like Bradley Cooper in the movie Maestro. You know he's faking it too, but he's having a great time doing it. Hopefully they'll come out with a much bigger full-featured version of this game in the future because I will happily pay for it. Maestro Masterclass is just so much fun. Very quickly, if you are enjoying this video, this is the perfect time for you to hit that subscribe button and become one of my first 2,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps. Next up, at number 7, Gorilla Tag. No free VR game list could possibly be made without including Gorilla Tag. Players become agile gorillas, swinging and leaping through virtual environments while trying to tag others. This game focuses on movement and agility, delivering a fun and physically engaging experience, encouraging players to outmaneuver opponents in a playful and competitive setting. There are six different levels that you can play in, each with their own obstacles and routes to maneuver through. This game has become so huge. It goes beyond the basics and is now a place for people just to hang out, chat with other monkeys, and make up their own games within the environment. The game's unique locomotion method uses no buttons, no sticks, and no teleportation. You just use your hands and arms to swing your way through the four different game modes that include simple tag, infection mode, hunt mode, and paint brawl. I personally can't play this game for very long because 
I tend to get a little bit of motion sickness when I play this game, which is really sad because it's a lot of fun. Next on the list at number six, Gods of Gravity. Gods of Gravity plunges players into a dynamic anti-gravity arena where they engage in a fast-paced 360 degree power struggle. This is a social arcade style real-time strategy game where you compete in an epic showdown of celestial gods. You'll use your ships that you generate from your own solar system to take over other people's planets and their solar systems in an all-out battle to take control of the entire map. You can play in two to eight player multiplayer battles. You can command your own fleet or team up with friends against the computer. The game uses built-in spatial voice chats so you can talk with your teammates or your enemies, or you can play in a single-player campaign and unlock all the gods with their own game-changing powers. And beyond that, you can fight your way to the top of the ranked leaderboards and even compete in live-streamed tournaments. This game has a bit of a learning curve at the beginning, but it is honestly worth it. It's really fun. The way the gravity works with the little ships floating around the planets and the way that you can fling them to another planet to take it over, it's just a lot of fun. It really is. I highly recommend it. Next at number five, Bait. Bait offers a relaxing and immersive fishing experience in virtual reality. Set in picturesque yet cartoony environments, players cast their lines, reel in fish, and complete various fishing challenges. This game really is kind of up there with some of the best in low-key VR gaming. It is surprisingly nice to just kick back and catch a colorful and interesting variety of over 60 types of fish in this game. You can choose your own rods, reels, and bobbers and go sit by eight different lakes and locales. The game has very colorful visuals and is easy to pick up and play with the intuitive controls. You can play using your meta avatar and hang out with up to 11 other players and do more than just fish. You can toss a beach ball, skip stones, do RC boat racing, and search for treasure with friends online. But really what it all comes down to is the simple, straightforward fishing. It's downright relaxing and also engaging enough that the time will just slip away. I recently started playing this game again after playing it years ago, and it's still just as fun now, but with a bunch of new options for players. This is another one of those free games that you should just definitely have in your library, unless you just hate fishing for some reason. Coming in at number four, Cards and Tankards. Cards and Tankards is a great social collectible card game in VR. I personally love digital card games, VR and otherwise. In fact, I made a video about the best ones out there that you can check out right here. In Cards and Tankards, players engage in virtual card battles while interacting with friends and AI characters in a lively card store setting. You can collect over 180 cards and battle against other players or the computer in an immersive social atmosphere from your own living room. One of the most fun things about collectible card games is opening up card packs, which you can do here as you unlock more and more possibilities for your deck. You completely customize your own decks to go into battle with, and there are four different factions that each have their own unique combat mechanics. This is basically Magic the Gathering in VR, but without being overly complicated. Granted, there aren't a lot of collectible card games in the VR space, but it is very easily the best one out there. This game is still in its early stages, and I'm sure we will still see some big advancements over the next few months and years. And again, it's all free. At number three, Population One. Population One immerses players in a Battle Royale VR experience where they engage in intense multiplayer combat in a vibrant and expansive world. Much like Guerrilla Tag is a massive multiplayer tag game, Population One has easily become the top first-person shooter Battle Royale game within the VR space. With a unique vertical gameplay mechanic, players can climb, build structures, and glide in wingsuits to other areas. Population One is definitely the Fortnite of the VR world. The base game is completely free for Battle Royale, but of course there are plenty of things that you can buy and add to the game if you so desire. The game boasts a wide variety of player versus player and player versus computer modes for you and your friends to play, including Deathmatch, War Mode, Legions Mode, Metropolis Royale, Single Player, Co-op Bot Battles, Duos, Practice Modes, and even player-created sandbox levels. If you're up for some in-your-face, first-person shooting action in VR with tons of people to play with, Population One is the go-to game for this. There are a lot of other options in the VR shooting games realm that are also worth checking out, but this one still reigns supreme, at least for now. Next up, at number two, Vegas Infinite. Vegas Infinite brings poker to virtual reality better than any other game, offering an immersive and social experience. Players can engage in poker games in different ways, including Texas Hold'em and Omaha. You can play cash games, two to eight player tournaments for various buy-in levels, and even engage in huge multi-table tournaments that can take hours to complete, if you can stay in the game long enough to win the big prizes. You can customize your avatars and interact with opponents in the many colorful table environments. The game does a great job of recreating the excitement of a live poker table. When I first got this game, I only got it to play blackjack at the very beginning, and I ended up finally playing poker, and then I got really into it, and I've gotten much better at poker all around. 
The social aspect of this game is one of the best things about it. I've made quite a few great acquaintances on here that I play other games with outside this game. It really is nice to just hop into a game with other adults who enjoy a friendly game of poker without having to spend a dime. Every eight hours, you can spin the wheel in your Vegas suite to collect a chunk of money that you can play with at the tables. Poker isn't the only thing you can play in this game. You can also play a variety of slot machines on the virtual casino floors, try your hand at roulette or blackjack, or just lose all your fake money playing craps. The variety of options in this game are truly phenomenal for being a completely free-to-play game. I can easily say I have spent the absolute most time in VR playing this game, and I still love it. And finally, rounding out the list at number one, Blast On. Blast On is a futuristic dueling game that combines fast-paced shooting mechanics with strategic dodging and positioning. The game is set in a vibrant, retro-futuristic world where you engage in one-on-one -on -one battles with a variety of weapons and gadgets. I didn't know what to expect with this game, but I was very pleasantly surprised. This game is all about using your whole body to dodge incoming fire while trying to line up good shots to hit your enemies that are doing exactly the same thing. The blasts from your laser guns vary from cluster shots to large slow shots to solid beams to bombs from the air to bow and arrows and many other things that I have yet to unlock. Learning how the different weapons work and how to avoid the blasts and retaliate is so much fun. I got so into it when I first played it that I ended up incredibly sore the next day because of all the bobbing, weaving, ducking, and squatting that I did to get out of the way of incoming fire. It's like a nerf gun battle without being able to leave the platform you're standing on and having infinite ammo appearing before you. The game features in-game lobbies where you can meet and talk to other players before you go into battle with them, or you can just hop right into the ranked battle system. Apparently this game wasn't free at the start and it's become a free-to-play game, and it's from Resolution Studios, who made Demio and Demio Battles. I consider this Studio to be at the forefront of high quality VR gaming. This game just further proves that. Blaston is seriously an adrenaline pumping experience that keeps me wanting to play more to better myself with every round that I play. If you want a really good leg workout, this game will give it to you. It will make you sore. This is easily the most engaging and most polished game on today's list. It's just excellent, especially since you'd have to pay a dime for it. And Honestly, on top of everything else, there's now an awesome mixed reality mode for this game where you can play in your own living room. If you aren't against getting a little bit of exercise while you play an awesome player versus player battle game, you cannot skip this one. A couple of bonus free mixed reality games I want to mention are I Expect You to Die Home Sweet Home. This is a short but very fun mixed reality spin-off of the I Expect You to Die games that is basically an escape room game that you play within your own living room, bedroom, house, or wherever you are. It's short but a lot of fun and completely free. And also, Miracle Pool. This is an awesome mixed reality pool table. It's pretty much that simple. You start with a big box that you open up with a pool table in it, you place the table in your own space, and then play pool with your friends or against the computer in the comfort of your own living room. It looks great, plays super smoothly, and I am guessing will not stay free forever, so I suggest you grab it while you can. So, there you have it. The 10 best free MetaQuest 3 games, plus a couple bonuses. Honestly, there are a plethora of other games that are out there in the VR world that are free. A lot of them are not good at all, and there are some other really good ones out there. These ones really took the cake for me as the best of the best. That's what I think. What do you think? What is your absolute favorite free game in VR? Is there anything that you feel like I should have included in this list that I didn't? What is the most unique VR experience you've ever had, paid or not? Let's talk about it in the comments below. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of my other videos? That's it for this video, though. I'll see you next time on Gamelist Plus.